The mirror feature allows you to replicate geometry about a plane or planar face. This tool is really useful. Whenever you have a symmetric design, it will allow you to create and design half of the geometry and then simply copy it over or mirror it to the other side. You can mirror faces, features, or entire bodies. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the mirror feature tool to replicate this cutout feature. Then to finish the lesson, we will mirror over the entire body to the other side. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video, and let's begin the lesson. To start the mirror tool, you can either go to the top menu and go to insert, and then pattern mirror, and then mirror. Or another way is in the features tab on the command manager, look for the linear pattern, click on the little arrow, and this will expand the menu so you can see additional options, and you should see mirror. So click on that to activate the command. The property manager should now be visible on the left hand side panel and this is where you can select both the mirroring plane and also the features or faces or bodies to actually mirror. The first selection box is the mirror face plane and this is where you'll select the plane or face to act as your central point of the mirror. In this exercise we want to replicate this cutout feature using our mirror tool. So with our mirror face plane selected expand the feature manager tree, which is this area here. You'll notice as I hover my mouse over the three default planes, the front, top, and right, it should give you an idea of the plane that it's going to select. What we are trying to do is determine which plane will act accordingly for our mirror feature. So you can see the front isn't what we want because we want this cutout to be over here. So we can't use the front plane. The top plane obviously isn't gonna work either but the right plane looks like it's in the right position. So we'll select the right plane. This is also why design intent is important when you're designing your model and sort of pre-thinking the features you're going to use throughout your model. When I created this model, I knew one of the first steps would be to mirror this feature over. And so therefore, when I designed the boss extrude of the original shape, I made sure that the original right plane was in the central position of this part. Let me demonstrate what I mean. So we've selected our right plane as the mirror plane. Next, we want to select the features to mirror. And again, you can click on that box to activate the selection area and then expand the menu. You can either click on the feature itself or you can use the, uh, the tree on the side to select as well. So we can just click on this feature and you can see it's now giving us a preview of what our mirror feature is going to look like. So because of the design intent, I knew our plane had to be in this location so that it would mirror correctly. I'm not going to go into more detail about design intent in this lesson, but there was a previous lesson on design intent. I recommend you should watch that if you want more information about design intent. It's also quickly worth mentioning that if you were creating a part and one of the default planes was not in the correct position you needed to create a mirror feature, you can always create your own custom plane and use that. So moving along, we've selected our right plane as our mirror plane and our cutout feature. We can see the preview of what it's going to look like. Everything looks right. We can now click OK to accept. You may be wondering why if we have a closer inspection of this part, we can see this feature is cutting all the way through. By default, the mirror feature is going to replicate both the geometry and the end condition of the features that is being mirrored. I suspect that our cut feature is using a through all end condition, and that is why it is cutting all the way through the part. If we click on the cut extrude feature and go to edit feature, and our suspicions are correct, it is using a through all end condition. So to fix our mirror feature, not cutting all the way through the part on this side, we could change the through all end condition, but there is another way of doing that. So we can preserve the end condition of the feature, but not cut all the way through on this side. So if I just cancel this edit, I'll show you what I mean. So click on the mirror feature and go to edit feature. In the options, there is a tick box for geometry pattern. If we click on that, you'll notice that the preview is not showing the cut all the way through. 
what this option is doing is that it is only copying the geometry. It's only mirroring the geometry and it's going to ignore any end conditions. So this way we retain the end condition of that original cut through, but on this side, it's only going to copy the geometry, which is what we want. So we can click OK to accept and we can see now it is not cutting all the way through, even though this side is still set to through all end condition. Our final step for this exercise is to mirror the whole body across. So again, launch the mirror feature by going to the linear pattern, dropping down and going to mirror. The first thing we need to do is select our mirror face or plane. And in this situation, we're going to use this face of the part as our mirror plane. So we can click on that. The next thing we need is features to mirror, but we actually want to mirror the entire body. So if you click on here, bodies to mirror, expand that. Now we can just pick any part of the model itself. And this way we should be seeing a preview now of the entire model being replicated to the other side. Due to us using bodies to mirror as our selection, in the options there's also a couple of new options. There's merge solids and knit surfaces. Now these are both more advanced techniques which I'm not going to cover, but just be aware that the options can change because of what you're using to mirror. For example, the geometry pattern is now gone. In this particular demonstration, just make sure merge solids is ticked and knit surfaces is unticked. Click OK to accept and control seven to go to an isometric view. And you can see our entire body is now mirrored to the other side and this completes our part. Before finishing the lesson, I just want to highlight the time-saving component of using the mirror feature. When designing a part like this, you may have purposely selected the mirror feature in your design intent process, knowing that if a modification was made to this cutout, we could simply make the change to the original feature and have that copy through the rest of the part because we have mirrored the actual feature itself. Let me demonstrate this by going to the original cutout and going to edit sketch. So this is the original sketch to create our cutout. We are going to change this to 10, which as you can see, completely changes the shape of our cutout. We can exit the sketch and go back to a isometric view. And as you can see, that new shape is copied all the way through our part. So that brings us to the end of this lesson on the mirror feature tool. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's move on to the next lesson.